Hey what's up you guys, you're watching Team APS, Paul here, and in today's video I'm going to be opening a special edition box of Cosmo Blazer provided by TCG Player. So for those of you who don't know, special editions, or special edition boxes rather, contain 10 special editions and each special edition contains 3 packs and a promo card. Now Cosmo Blazer is a bit of an older set, um, it came out in like early 2013 so it's actually about 3 years old now, but um... It's cool because it actually has a few relevant cards. Breakthrough Skill, Lightning Chidori, and Diamond Direwolf, and Firefist Bear, of course, all came in here. And um, more Mermel support, things like that. So I think this might actually be a more interesting box than we might have initially thought. And um, I'm going to be splitting this into two parts because I'm going to open five special editions in each. So I'm going to pop these out and get them ready for you guys, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've got them all opened up, um, well, five of them at least. So you see you get three packs and a promo card. Uh, I'm gonna get the camera in focus here and we will get started. So, uh, like I said, there are a lot of cool cards in here that I can expect to pull. It's not first ed because, you know, special editions never are. Promo card, Blade Armor Ninja. Make sure that this is like precisely where I want it. Cool. Blade Armor Ninja. So this was actually really useful. I remember in Hero Days, it was like an OTK card. So that was very cool. Uh, dealt 4,400 damage. Okay, first pack. Since this video is in two parts, I'm not gonna waste everyone's time too much. Rambling. All right, Ignition Beast Vol Volcanon. I'm gonna open them from this side to the other side because I'm gonna point it out last time that I don't usually do that. Xyz Remora, March of the Monarchs, Brotherhood of the Firefish Gorilla, and Fire Formation Tencent. So, Gorilla is our rare. Now let's see what else we got here. Tensin, Zero Zerok, Garbage Lord, and Tensu. Yeah, Fire Fist came out in this, so uh, yeah. It was a cool archetype that wasn't particularly great when it first came out, but then over time became a pretty powerful meta archetype. But then Dragon Rulers and Spellbooks happened, so. Heraldry Chain, Spear Shark, Heraldic Beast Eagle, Spellwall, Gladius, Blackwing Gladius, the Midnight Sun. So, pretty cool rare. Uh, I don't think this was one of the Blackwings that really ended up getting a lot of use, though. I swear, like, Blackwings are gonna outlive this game itself. Like, they... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, like, Blackwings get new support, like, every other set. It's crazy. Like, they just... They don't stop getting support, and it's never really great support, but... Aziz, Double Back, Dimension Gate, Abyss Scorn, Garbage Ogre, Noble Knight, Joan... And, oh, Super Rare, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Swallow. Uh, funny that this is a Super, it's not actually one that gets used a whole lot, but, you know, we will take it. We'll take it, gladly. Uh, I guess I'll just put, like, the promos over here, because they're not that important. Uh, the hollows are more important. So, next special edition. The one problem with these is these make so much garbage. Okay, Wind Up Shark. That's the other promo card. Yeah, these special edition boxes make a lot of garbage. Like, if you guys could see right now. Also, I'm doing this vid outside again. That's where I usually do these pack openings now. And it's better lit. Okay, so. Dice Nide. Like, I guess it's supposed to be like Denied, but it's Dice Nide. Uh, Garbage Ogre, Heraldry Chain, Spear Shark, ZW Tornado Bringer, and Reaper of Prophecy, another super rare. Double Shark, After the Storm, and Pyrotech Mech, Shiryu. So Reaper of Prophecy is one of those Prophecy cards that doesn't really get used. Uh, you get to apply some effects based on like how many Prophecy cards you've got in your graveyard, Spellbook cards. Um, you can use it with like Prophecy Destroyer and kind of have a little rank 6 Prophecy thing going, but other than that, it's not particularly useful. It's not practical, maybe, is what I should say. Situational. You don't want dead cards in your hand in a deck like Spellbooks that already can have that problem. Xyz Double Back, Dimension Gate, Abyss Scorn, Garbage Ogre, Hyper Ancient Shark, Megal Megalodon, Crimson Sunbird, Big Cattle Drive, Tencent, and Zero Zorak. Last pack of the second special edition. Spear Shark. Z Hawk, <laughs> Xyz Double Back, Hazy Flame, Cerberus, 
ultimate fire formation, Seato. The big cattle drive, Aziz Dimension Splash, Raven, and Hazy Pillar. All right, so that's the second special edition, down. Now, for the third, our promo card is another Blade Armor Ninja. Excalibur ended up kind of being the better form of him, I think, in the end. People preferred Excalibur for their uh, rank four Xyz warrior that gets big and does lots of damage. Spellwall, March of the Monarchs, Heraldic Beast Eagle, Xyz Tribal Rivals, <laughs> Tribal Rivals, Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon, Jurok Impact, Hazy Pillar, Brother of the Firefox Raven, and After the Storm. Reminds me of that card after the struggle. Uh, initially after genocide, but that got changed. Open up pack. Jesus Christ. By the way, for anyone wondering, I'm not actually left handed, although I've gotten that in the comments a lot. Hazy Flame Cerberus, Hazy Flame Sphinx, Xyz Remora, Heraldry Change, Crimson Blader, nice, one of the better rares in the set, and Abyss Dine, Mermel Abyss Dine. Mermels are pretty hot now, aren't they? Are pretty not hot. They're wet. Winky face. All right. So anyway, um, Mermella Bistine and Crimson Blader. Crimson Blader, one of the better rares. Um, this actually defined a format for a long time, stopping things like Dragon Rulers and other stuff from being summoned. And uh, Mermella Bistine was just a pretty good Mermel card. Kind of saw its way into some of the mono Mermel builds, but then ended up getting ultimately dropped by a lot of people. But it's a super, and so I can't complain about that. We're like three for three in special editions so far. So that's not too bad. Um, and yeah, like I was saying though, I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, but I open these packs kind of funny because I have this tripod set up a bit inconveniently and I have to. ZW Tornado Bringer, Hazy Glory, Garbage Lord, Tensu. People in these Yu-Gi-Oh games use this a lot, like in the Yu-Gi-Oh video games that we Let's Play. If you haven't watched one of our Let's Plays, watch them. A lot of people like to use like the Garbage Lord stuff. Like I just noticed it's a card I remember seeing a lot from those games. It summons itself and then you take 2000 and you can use it for a Dark Xyz monster. Wind Up Shark. Oh, so we're, we're two for two, uh, or whatever, two and two with our promos, neat. All right, so next special edition. Um, we've gotten three hollows out of three special editions, but I kind of want to do more. Um, the thing with these special editions, you can never really tell how many hollows you'll get. Like, whereas boxes, hollow ratios are a bit more defined. I've seen special edition boxes open online that have been insane, and I've seen ones that have been really disappointing, so. Infernal Flame Vixen, Bacon Saver, Crimson Sunbird. Uh... Let's see. I really want, you know, we haven't seen like an ultra yet, so that would be nice, if nothing else, to at least see an ultra rare. And most of the sets, like higher rarity cards, were all very good, so. Abyss Scorn, Go 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 Ghost, Hazy Flame Sphinx, Ignition Beast, Volcanon, Damascus, and ZW Leo Arms. So Blackwing, Damascus, the Polar Knight. And finally, an ultra like I asked for, ZW Leo Arms. Probably not the best. Although. <laughs> In our Let's Play of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, several of our Let's Plays, these cards have been pretty useful when you attach them to like a Utopia and give it a bunch of attack. And this one's actually good because I think it's the one that searches them, so searches more ZW cards. So it's an Ultra, uh, I'll take it. So for our fourth special edition, we finally got an Ultra. We're not done with it yet though. With some luck, we'll get more. Out of, I guess, 30 packs, it'd be nice to see about 10 foils. It'd be good. Tinky, one of the best commons in the set. Arguably the best common in the set. Leotar. Amaralis. Cerberus. Heraldic Beast Leo, pretty good card. Hazy Pillar, Double Shark, After the Storm, and Shiryu. All right, we're on our last special edition. I'd like to see two hollows out of here instead of one for a change. It'd be great. Let's see out a Cosmo Blazer. One of my favorite, not really favorite sets, but one of the better uh, Zexel sets. Spear Shark, Aziz Double Back, Garbage Ogre, Abyss Scorn, Heraldic Beast Leo, Hazy Pillar. 
Speaking of Heraldic Beast Leo, that's yet another card that I saw in a lot of duels in those Yu-Gi-Oh video games. Uh, it floats, so that's something. Like you summon it and it dies in the end phase and then it floats, so not bad. Tinky, again, nice. Uh, Abyss Scale, this, all, actually all the Abyss Scale cards in Mermels are decent little techs and not too competitive builds. CW Lightning Blade, a rare, after the storm. Uh, so, still no hollow even. Hopefully we at least get a hollow. Oh, by the way, this is our promo. Forgot to. So three blade armor ninjas, two wind up sharks thus far. It's an ultimate Xyz party. Abyss scale of Cetus, 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 Dimension Gate, Tenken, Inari Fire, Blackwing Damascus, the Polar Knight. And wow, that's a shame. No hollows. All right, well, that's gonna clear up the first part of um, this little opening. We will quickly review the cards we've gotten so far. ZW Leo Arms, Morella Bisdine, Reaper of Prophecy, and Brotherhood of the Firefish Swallow. Um, so, so far, so decent. Three supers and an ultra, but I'd like to do better in the second part. So, um, probably next week I'll upload the second part where we open some more and see what we get. Thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Um, remember, you can buy Team APS playmats now. I'm not sure if I've announced that formally yet, but you can. Um, link in the description for all that and my social media and everything else. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.